Like, I've had people come to me, for example, we did a movie night on the Best Boy server once. And someone, this, I, I always remember this because I think this is just a really thing special to me. They, someone comes up to me afterwards and says, says to me, this is the first time I've ever gone out to movie night with my friends. Thank you so much. And that, that just was really powerful to me because, you know, I, I struggled with loneliness and having trouble making friends before. And really this game has really been my, pretty much almost a lot of my social interaction because the people on here I've met and the friends I've made, it just, it, it's a lot because it just lets you interact and meet people with similar interests who might be all over the world. Like, just having a place where people can come together. I wish I'd had a place like that when I was younger and more vulnerable. Where people can like, just meet other people and have a good time together. And that's something special. Something I've noticed, too, is obviously because of these circumstances, people will try to internalize these feelings, thoughts, and isolate themselves, which can output into loneliness. The best thing you can do as a community manager is if you are seeing these signs and you want to help promote for their positivity and help them get included, you have to be the one to step up and try to provide that aid to them. Not everyone is going to be able to make that first step on their own. And if you're going to be willing to put in the time and effort to help them, then you may yet see a more positive change and a new, active, happy com community member. Absolutely. Very well said. Uh, anyone else have anything they want to say before we move on to the next topic? No. no. All right. No, sweet. I'm good. Uh, anyone have anyone from? Hmm? Uh, Rusty Jesse. I mean, uh, the yeah, photograph like adder me. has a question. Oh. Uh, what's uh, what's the question? Uh, hello. Yes. Hi there. So, Hi. um, hypothetically speaking, uh, asking for a friend. Uh, let's say mm -hmm. hypothetically, you have a model that you're very excited about, and you're putting it out there for free, and you're thinking, oh my gosh, this is the most exciting thing ever, and you put it out, and then like two weeks later, uh, you know, it's in a couple of worlds, you got a couple of people using it, but like nobody noticed, and it's just kind of like, you have like six people on the Discord, and you've seen like two people make a thing of it, and you're like, well, what am I doing wrong? Why is that not, like, why is nobody noticed? Hypothetically, uh, asking for a friend. Yeah, that's an excellent question, though, honestly. <laughs> like, as, as, like, someone who's struggled with self-doubt a lot of the time, like, I feel like when you're, when you're starting off with community, don't expect to be instantly become, like, oh, this big thing. Start off with, like, okay. You, everyone starts somewhere. Like, when I started the Best Boy community up again, like we had about 20, 30 people on our Discord. Just starting off with like, and we had to build up again from where we were. Like everyone starts from pretty much nothing. Everyone has that origin, and it takes years and years to get to where, well, people get to in their communities. Like you gotta remember, like people who start up, start up communities here probably have been going for about maybe I think the most like maybe three or four years up to like around two one years. My mine around is coming here. up to about two years now. Yeah, that, we just celebrated our was... four-year anniversary on the Best Boys. Hmm. I'd, I'd say yeah, is... for everyone, the first month or so is always a slow start. Absolutely. To be honest. Yeah, and like um, promote it, there's... like say like people. Yeah. Oh, sorry, hi. You yeah. go. There's two components to getting your your name or your thing out there. Um, you can't just do a lot of work. You also have to put it in front of the correct people. There is a sequence of decisions uh, in front of you that are you know, in the possibility space of all the things you could do that lead to the people you know that are out there who would like the, um, th this thing that you're making um, actually knowing about its existence. Um, and, uh, and so um, you have to figure out what the sequence of decisions is. Um, if you don't have a community centered around it, uh, you have to make the decision. Do I want to put in the effort to run a community around it? Is a community the right medium for me to get the name out there about this? Maybe there's some other way, maybe a video or maybe, um, you know, maybe something that novel that no one's done before. So, um, yeah, it's about figuring out what those decisions are, because there are people out there who want pretty much anything. It's a question of, do they know that you're offering it? Yeah. The one. 
but once they do that, they can normally share it out to other communities. Like, you know, mm-hmm. there's certain websites that share out the avertise itself and you put your credit into it. You partner mm-hmm. up with yeah, them. One. Yep. The subreddits, like, uh, things like, like that. No, subreddits, you got the Fur Hub, you got the VRC Arena. Mm-hmm. All the yeah, hashtags are a wonderful can... website. Yeah, those two. Um, may I interrupt? Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Uh, something I wanted to say is the first thing is you have done nothing wrong if you haven't achieved, you know, what your expectations were set to. Um, it's obviously going to be a, a bit of a process. But the way I look at it is it's not so much about the destination. And I know this is a very cliche thing, but <laughs> not so much about the destination, but the fun you have along the way, the friends you make along the way. Um, communities will sprout up in, you know, different ways with different, uh, at different speeds, at different intervals. Uh, the most you can do is if you really do want to put yourself out there, and if that is a primary goal and interest of yours, definitely seek those forms of social media, third-party services and in which you can promote your work. Do it safely. Even consult fellow, uh, you know, leaders here of, of various communities if it is of interest to you. I'm pretty sure most of us here would be willing to provide that advice if it was asked in a yeah, personal absolutely. degree. Yeah. Like, so uh, don't mean, stress yourself out. You got yeah, this. Yeah, and we ca- we currently promote other other uh, models on our own server as well, and they do the same in return. Yeah. We help each other. It's a give and take. Mm-hmm. What I found to be useful is find people, make connections. Like, let's say you go out into VR chat and say, hey, like, this is a model I made. And some people, oh, that's a cool looking model. And like, hey, do you want this? That kind of thing. That's a good way to like, do that. Like, promote it, promote it, promote it. Go to other discords. Like, a lot of VR chat discords will have, like, oh, put your models here channel. Slide that link in there. Say, hey, I made this. You want it? Here's our discord. That kind of thing go around promote it like find people who might be interested in that same kind of thing and say this is where you can get us and that kind of thing also have a world a world with public version of the avatars is such a big step towards that direction like having a world having a place where people who have the model can congregate like host events with your community too like even if it's small like let's say you got like a 10 person disco and say hey we're all going to meet up at this time and then go to there and have like a little fun part of time that encourages people to bring their friends and encourages people to bring stuff in. That actually reminded me of something I'm going to slip in real quickly. Yeah, is go ahead. Consistency. People like consistency. If you have consistent events, meetups, and everything, that really will, I think, be a warm, safe, and welcoming environment for people to attempt to join. Yeah. Hmm? Thank you. That's a good question. Mm-hmm. And yeah, you. Uh, I have a um, I have another one from the website. If you, we could take that now, unless there's anything yeah. else. You yeah. Want to say? All right. No, it's Sweet. Cool. Uh, this is another one towards uh, the the paid model creators over here. What do you th- <laughs> What do you do if someone leaks a paid model for free? As I believe, I think this happened to the Shibas. I'm not sure if it happened to the Long Boys or something yet. So uh, go ahead. Oh yeah, that that happened to me recently. There was a. Uh... Someone informed me of a file floating around on Google Drive that was, um, you know, leaking my paid models. And, it, you know, it's oh, as simple yeah. as issue a takedown. Like, a Google Drive, uh, they have, uh, you know, they have links and services for dealing with uh, taking down copyrighted stuff. <laughs> Google's good with this stuff, especially. Um, other creators like Hobbert have dealt with having their models leaked on Booth. Um, some other creators have ha- uh, had issues with people um, reselling their stuff on Gumroad. Gumroad and Booth, they they both have uh, systems for, for taking this down. You just talk to the staff, um, this thing happens now and then, they know how to deal with it, and then it gets taken down. If it's like OneDrive or Google Drive, they also have, you know, mechanisms for taking this stuff down. Ultimately, you have to accept that there's going to be some rate of um, piracy. Uh, but ultimately, this is going to be from poorer countries where people can't afford your model anyway. The people that pirate this stuff, they wouldn't be purchasing your model anyway. And the majority of people 
uh, here, you know, they uh, they respect artists and they wouldn't just pirate stuff, you know, for the for the sake of piracy, for the sake of saving a dollar. Yeah. Uh, Especially with the yeah. VR chat models, because those are usually like a one or two person project when it comes to paid models. That's kind of like an income source for the creator. Yeah, these are personal creations. Uh, most of them, to my knowledge, are not based on mm -hmm. corporate interference in creation. But that was very well said, Spaghetti. I don't think I actually have anything to add on to that. It was <laughs> yeah. yeah. I heard well that done. this uh, the long boy model was actually ripped on VR chat before it was even released. It, you know, it wasn't it, even yeah, in a state I where I would, <laughs> would like it. And um, you know, I was, I was quite angry at first, like, oh my god, this is floating around, you know, people are downloading it, uh, and it's not even, it's not even done, it's not, it's not even the quality I, w I would like, um, but ultimately, you gotta accept, yeah, you know, just like with games or with music, there's gonna be piracy, and if there's, if you're in a situation where there's nothing left that you can do about it, it's just floating around VR chat, people are doing it here and there, so long as no one's actually crediting, uh, taking credit for your work, it's just gonna be there, and you can just go, hey, you know, if they if they don't know about it, we can reach out to them and say, "Did you know this is a paid asset?" Um, but otherwise, they wouldn't have bought it anyway. Uh, so you know, That's if true. anything, it's if they weren't going to buy it anyway, it's better that they're showing it off. Um, it's just free promotion so, at that yeah. point. <laughs> don't be don't be too angry about it unless they're actually selling it or you know they're hosting on a, on a site where you have the ability to take it down. But as a general rule for all of life, if you know there's nothing you can do about it. Move on. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Yeah. It's like it, it, there's always going to be someone who's it, have if it. some individual is is pirating something, it's like whatever. It's when people are reselling it. That's when it's an actual problem. Yeah. Uh, that and that that's when it problem. you you need you need to seriously like you know take care of it. But if it's just an individual yeah. copying it, you know, it's it's like whatever. Speaking as someone who creates, like, whose team creates free models, like, the way the Best Boy models are, we release them publicly on, on, on our website and on our stuff. But I've had people who who've tried to claim that they were the ones who made the models, that people would just come in and say, oh, yeah, I made this. And I'm like, you know, we, we go into those places and we see that, and I'm just like, not really. We have in our TOS, like, if you make public Best Boy models, you have to link back to the Best Boy Discord somewhere in the world. And that kind of thing, which I think it helps lower down on that. Whenever I'll see it, I'll reach out to the person and say, hey, could you do this for us? Or, hey, why are you claiming this is your model? And that kind of thing. I've actually had a case where someone tried to sell the best way model to someone else. Which was a, which was a, which was a whole interesting conversation with that person. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, definitely, like, it's a different situation for me. But, like, there's definitely really not much you can do about piracy. It's going to happen. But just take it down when you see it and that kind of thing. and. The overwhelming majority of people are just going to pay for it in the end. Hmm. Like, it's interesting to hear that perspective, I guess. Uh, anyone else from the audience have a question? All right, I guess we'll move on to another one from here. I don't believe so. I think, yeah, let's get another <laughs> question online. Yeah, I just always want to ask, just in case, if someone has a of question. Course. But I guess it's always going to take some from... Uh, Always good from the website because we've got a lot coming in right now. So, uh, yeah, let me find, let me find some, uh, another good one. All right, uh, what is an unexpected, this is a good one. Uh, what is an unexpected challenge that has surprised you as your community has grown? Also, what is your favorite pizza? I guess, uh, Hawaiian could start us off with that one. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> okay, so. If you say Hawaiian pizza, I agree with you. It's very good. <laughs> I don't purposely order Hawaiian for, yeah. pizza. If, if someone gives it to me, I'll take it. But I'm not against it. Um, I think overall, my favorite type of pizza is probably from, um, uh, like, smaller type joints, like biology and stuff, where you can kind of build it yourself. In most cases, I'll just try to do a combination where you just, like, smack on all this different like vegetables and ingredients but then you balance it with like enough meat so like not one specific yeah. one but like i like variety um mm -hmm. unexpected challenges i think is when you since my group is uh pretty much all except for the very latest model all free models uh i i do constantly get asked like okay so i keep seeing people with the ginu and i see it in the maps but uh, is it in the Discord? So, like, the main thing that's come up is we only have one paid model, and that's the latest model. 
and the other ones are pretty good also. But we also have a few more edits of one of our older models in community edits. So a lot of times, unexpected stuff is people don't realize that we have that much variety of models to work with. Um, so I I usually have to manually give people the links or send them stuff. So that's kind of the only unexpected thing that I've encountered. Yeah. Uh, for me, um, I think I'm going to sneeze. Uh, for me, what I found is uh, that, like, when you're running a community, you'll run into it. People will message you as, like, you're the arbiter of all these things. Like, you'll get people who, like, Oh my god, it's you! Oh my god, it's you! And like, they always want to try and be your friend. You're like this, follow you around, like those kind of people. And I'm like, I don't know you, help. And that's something <laughs> I found, like that kind of like... What's it? I forget what the term is, I'll probably remember it later. It's like, uh, something where it's called, where like... It's parasocial people, relationship. People, yeah, pa yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's it, parasocial relationships. But that'll happen. They know and I'm you, like, but you don't know them. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, oh, hello, hi, I'm Rusty, or like, oh, hi, I'm community leader person. And they're just like, oh my gosh, it's you, it's you, it's you. And, and uh, you know, and my favorite type of pizza is, and I'm going to get probably, I'm going to get sin for this. I love, uh, I like pineapple. I like uh, pretty much anything on pizza. I like pineapple, anchovies, like sausage, all, Ooh! and uh, like, 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 like <laughs> peppers, uh, anchovies, peppers, like salami, a lot of cheese, New York style pizza. So good, like just all that stuff on top of it on one pizza. Oh, bacon too, bacon, oh, lots what? of bacon on there. Oh, yes, yeah. I've had it. It's so good, honestly. It doesn't sound like it. Do it, it is. It <laughs> is good. <laughs> well, for me, it is. So it's, it's my it's I my thing, and I like it. It might seem uh, a little silly, but one of the bigger challenges that I have faced and and wasn't expecting to see so much of um is more centralized of a problem here too. Uh, I found that people like to to target each other quite often. Um, I don't know quite quite why this might be the case, but uh, that was something I wasn't expecting, and definitely something that takes a lot of research to look into, uh, considering all perspectives, all sides of what might have instigated this targeted harassment or behavior towards another individual. Um, but yeah, I, I've I've had a lot of a lot of issues I've had to face, such a wide variety. I don't think I actually have one that uh, stands out too much more than that, I suppose. Uh, my favorite type of pizza? Uh, just plain cheese pizza, but with cheese stuff. I love cheese. Cheese is really that good. That sounds Whoa. really good. Ooh. Yum. Well, but, uh, <laughs> I got too excited about cheese, I'm sorry. What you were kind of saying <laughs> before about like uh, people having issues with each other, what I found, I kind of want to go off of that for just a quick second. Uh, like, I've noticed that, like, people would try and make their personal issues into, like, a server-wide issue. Like, oh, this person, I hate them. Oh, Don't yes. let them near me. Like, just, like, well, we have a rule. Just keep it to DMs. If you're having a personal little fight with someone else, we don't want your petty drama getting involved with our community. Just keep it, just keep it away. Unless it becomes, like, a, an abusive situation, which then yeah. come to us about it, and we'll try and sort it out if we can. What? But like I said, keep most personal issues out of, out of, our, out of our limelight. I don't make it a server issue. I honestly say mine's similar to yours. So I ain't got much to say for the first part. But on the pizza side, I'd, I'm not really fussy. But I'd say mostly my favorite is uh, ghost pepper on pizza. Oh, yeah. I, I can never. I, I, I cannot eat spicy food. <laughs> Something that really surprised me um, uh, is that uh, there are so many uh, people with the autism spectrum spectrum disorder uh who are community leaders um and you know i myself am one person with that and it's like you know why why me like i shouldn't i be the person who's worst at social stuff um and really uh it comes down to once we learn socializing the way uh, autistic people have to learn socializing we can't just pick it up like any other skill uh like you know neurotypical people do we have to kind of learn it more like a science. It's a much more conscious process, and you have to decide you want to put time into learning that. But once you do, you 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 fully understand it. You know, it, it's something where you don't just kind of know. You don't know why you understand it. It's more like you 
actually have started at the beginning and built upon that foundation of knowledge so that, you know, at any given time, you can look through that in your mind and go, oh, yeah, this is why this thing works and this is why this thing doesn't. Um, and I think, um, you know, in, in the end, after a lot of work, um, that, that uh, is uh, one way I can, I can look at it and, and sort of see a silver lining there. And that really surprised me. Um, yeah, for and me, pizza. I kind of agree. Uh -huh. Because I also have Asperger, I have Asperger syndrome, so I, ha I have a, a similar kind of form to that. But uh, yeah, pizza, I want to hear. Yeah, All right, Asperger's has been uh, redefined now as um, as, as just on uh, ASD, autism spectrum disorder. Um, whether yeah. it's a disorder or a disability, I know they're still figuring it out. Uh, pizza, though, I've been trying uh, capricciosa recently. It's got like ham and mushrooms and stuff. I really like mushrooms on pizza. Ooh, mushrooms uh, on but, pizza man, is delicious. I, wanna... I love mushrooms. Yeah, but, but really, it's an availability problem. I want to get back to my anchovies. I want to get back to my artichokes. Mm. Um, and while yeah. I was in Italy, oh my god, I saw this pizza. It was a calzone that had a hole cut in the top of it. It was called uh, an Etna, like Mount Etna, the volcano, because it was really like chilly hot, and they had the tomato sauce going down the sides, so it actually looked like a mountain with with a <laughs> with a caldera and like lava flowing down. I want that. I want that so bad. That sounds really good. Thank, thanks. You made me yeah. hungry. <laughs> <laughs> For me, something I'd uh, say that is surprising is the, the sheer speed at which people will make customizations of an avatar, and then also the the scope of which they would do it, like like really deep edits uh, of models, and and they'd also do it pretty quickly. I, I guess it's inevitable when you have a large number of people working on the same thing in parallel, that you'll have a lot of things being produced, but... but yeah, that, that's always surprising, like when a new model comes out, just how quickly people uh, jump onto it. Now, for the important question, pizza, blue cheese, bacon, caramelized onion, that's a great combo. Uh, pepperoni and pineapple, that's also one I love. Uh, extra cheese every time, regardless of pizza type, always good. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, this guy saying. always talking about food. <laughs> yeah, and like, as, as, not yeah, when it comes to like people making edits of stuff, like I agree with you. Like, I've seen people. Like, we had we had two people on our best boys here who took the, the best way model, which is like kind of similar to do a Dutch Angel Dragon, and actually make it a Dutch Angel Dragon. And we we made it an official community model now. You can get it on our website. It's just so cool that people would just take this and like mold it in their own direction. And like people have made some beautiful edits. I've seen people like these beautiful silver streaks and like silver and gold like it's like, forget how that like, gold it just looks so beautiful and just i love seeing the stuff people make that's one of my favorite parts of just scrolling through like the model like the media channel and just see, like, just seeing all the beautiful beautiful little edits that people make it's just always so wonderful of course every now and then you know i'll get reminded that someone made a long boy hooters <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> don't worry yeah I did that. it's an interesting one yeah, nice. I don't know what the best buy yet, but at least I've seen, I haven't seen it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh Thank god, you give them the oh god, you give them the idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. But yeah, Thank like that, that was a really good question. Oh uh, yeah, and mm -hmm. one from the audience. It doesn't look like it. Oh, uh, I think I see. Oh, I think oh, Pokari. Oh, Pokari, yes. Yeah. Uh, what is your question? What has been your favorite part about being a community member or community leader? That's a really good question. Oh. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh, why? Uh, I guess we could start off and we go down the line again. Sorry to always uh, put you okay. on the spot to start off. <laughs> off. So just yeah, having me right yeah, there. Yes, and it's just easy to move that way. Community, I will start. Um, sorry, what was the question? Uh, Bakari. I mean, what, what, what has been your favorite part about being a community leader? Okay, so my favorite part of being community leader is overall, uh, because I have usually man manually invited a lot of different individuals, I've been able to keep running into them, either, either if I've friended them or see them down the line, like, sure, there's a time gap. But it's always nice to see what I consider old friends, and so, most of the time, because the, when our group was started, people really didn't have many options. They would kind of go and join us because you get a free model, you could build off of it, and you could kind of make a hyena that's inspired by your sona and your patterns. 
But as time gone time has gone by, thankfully we've had so much beautiful models done, and it's very accessible through Gumroad, and people actually can become themselves. It's really nice to see people down the line actually as their own characters and as themselves, and it's even more fun when they have VR because then they can you know properly interact and it's really awesome. So that's that's usually the thing that I I think is the greatest is having so many friends along the way and. Uh, just kind of hanging out. Uh, absolutely. I guess uh, for me, my personal favorite part of running the community just seeing people come together as friends. Like I think I talked about this earlier. I was getting I was getting a little sentimental about it. Just people finding each other and becoming friends who we weren't able to have make friends before. Like seeing people come together in the framework of the community and just become friends or like. That kind of thing is just really special to me. Yeah, I th yeah. think for me it's actually kind of a similar case of seeing people being able to individualize themselves and adapt and work on these, these base avatars to really portray themselves, maybe even to create stories and like memories with people here. Even though this is a virtual space, I feel as though I can never forget a day that goes by being a part of these communities. I love every single moment, even with all the trials and tribulations that we face, the friends and the memories we make along the way completely just push those aside. I don't even have to worry or, you know, let that dominate my mind because I know happiness is always around the corner so long as I'm around these, these wonderful beings. I'd, I'd say mine's similar. I've had a couple of people from my my community literally thank me for having the community, for them meeting all their new friends that they've really became close with. And it's always nice to see what the community, like, make from the models evolve, make it, like, how far it changes from various different looks and forms. <laughs> A thing that's been difficult for me throughout my life is the uh, idea of family and, and, you know, joining communities or starting a community that, that sense of, of, of being part of a family is very important. And when people come to me in the communities that I've made and tell me, hey, you know, I was really lonely. I didn't have, have anyone to talk to, at least about the things they cared about until they join the community and they, they feel like it's their new family. That, that for me is a, is a really important thing. Um, and I, I feel, you know, very very uh, content that, that that's something that I've contributed to. Um, you know, on this panel, we're talking a lot about uh, the bad times, we're talking a lot about problems and how we solve them. But that occupies, a hopefully, a minority of our time. The rest of the time it is full of, of that feeling. <laughs> oh, you spill <laughs> oh, no. my drink on me. <laughs> I'm good. Um, but yeah, the, the majority of the, of the time is just feeling that, that sense of, of being part of this uh, family. Uh, we do this stuff out of love. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I think your mic's muted to begin. Ah, yeah, it was muted. <laughs> yeah, yeah the... <laughs> there we go. Yeah, the b best time in the community is just the community existing. The community just doing its thing. People, you know, just, just having a great time and doing whatever they want. And with the magic of technology being able to do this despite being locked in their home somewhere, uh, you know, even having greater social lives than they had before, potentially. <laughs> uh, mm. And I, I hope that a lot of the people that have discovered VR because of the, you know, the whole, the big thing happening outside. <laughs> I hope that a lot of these people stick around and have been, you know, <laughs> infected with it uh, and uh, see it as the obvious future medium of long range communication. But mm -hmm. yeah, it's yeah. it's a good time. That's why we're here. That's why we care. Thank yeah, you. That was a good question. I really like that <laughs> question. Yeah, that was wonderful. I got another. Oh, uh, Draken, if you have a question, what's up? Uh, as far as like communities go and grow, uh, there are sometimes uh, gags or trends, uh, maybe sometimes a hobby that ends up spreading. Are, are there any in particular that have surprised you that 
uh, you'd like to share? That is... Hmm. I guess I might have spaghetti to start off this time because let's, let's switch it up a little bit. How wines and started yeah. this spaghetti start this time. It's all on you. <laughs> What's the question? <laughs> have you noticed any kind of like uh, gags, in jokes, or uh, hobbies that surprise you that sprung up in your community? Hmm. Huh. 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 I'm not sure. I guess just the, the the general like meme nature uh, of your chat, where people will go and make these you know, eccentric animations that are just these elaborate memes, you know, for the sake of like a five second joke or something, for for a meme that's gonna be dead within a few weeks. Uh, I always love seeing that. That's great. Just yeah, yeah. Using, I don't like seeing that in public. Using your chat as an animation humor <laughs> medium. That that's great to see. <laughs> Mm. Yeah. I need to stop making so many. <laughs> so you're always scrolling through your avatar list because you can't find your own anymore. Yes. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Except um, all the public I... ones as well. It's just so hard. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Something that I, um, yeah. that I noticed is that a lot of small communities that are like sort of subsections of your own community spring up. Like, you know, I have, uh, I run a couple of telegram groups There's a patron one. And, and then there's a, there's a big telegram group. That's like a lot of the a big chunk of the furry sort of astrophysics and space fans. And, um, that group has two or three like smaller subsection groups of members who are in it, who do go off and do their own things, play other games and stuff. Um, so, you know, seeing gaming is obviously highly tied to all of this. I mean, especially right now, it's pretty much all we can do. So there's a lot of people who um, go, go off and make their own smaller groups, uh, which are like subsets of your community. That's really interesting. Um, as far as me memes and jokes go, uh, um, on the Longboy Discord, we get some really freakishly, freakish illustrations of extremely tall people um, and things like that. And um, lots of lots of really really cute pictures of ferrets and stuff. Um, so that that's that's really nice. And in the and the space community, oh my god! Like once you build up a massive knowledge of the politics behind like space policy and different rockets and companies, and the the meme potential is incredibly esoteric, but incredibly good. I really ain't got nothing to say, really. Hmm. Uh, I guess with the Shiva community in particular, um, because the model was technically around being debuted and showed off in other forms from people getting commissions from Pika PD himself, when the files officially went public, there was so much excitement surrounding it that a bout of creativity came around towards most of our members to create their own variations uh, of various, various memes and trends. And we still continue to see them spreading up to this day. Some of the more memorable ones that I recall is the Ugandan Sheba created by Pika Beauty himself. Uh, there is also the Dog of Wisdom uh, that you can actually puppet with both your hands. Your, your one hand controls the actual rotation of the body of the little hand puppet. The other controls the head. Uh, and that one was created by Hightail in our community. And and another one I can recall is the muscular Shiba created by Ors in the community. There are so many I really wish I could name, but I honestly can't recall them off the top of my head. But I'm I'm pretty sure that many of you might have seen a few running uh, around out there. A lot, a lot of memes. Uh, Deloreans and muscular Shibas, and just so, so many memes. So many. So many memes. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh, for me, what I've seen on the Best Boy server in particular is uh, we have oh, Best Boy lore and that kind of thing. That Best Boys lay eggs. We had to lock down on our lore channel for like three days because everyone kept talking about how to make Best Boy omelets, and I'm just like, oh no! <laughs> that is positively awful. <laughs> that is, it's like it's a, <laughs> yeah, we'll make we'll make the long egg for we'll make the, like the the long egg, but it's the Best Boy egg. <laughs> uh, uh, you know what? Um, after this panel, just Google long egg. And look, just look Do at it, pictures please. of, of well, please. It's a fantastic it. technology. Indeed, we. This is the future of society. Yeah. yeah anyway, how I? <laughs> <laughs> no. That's so... actually rule five on the Longboy Discord: is that you must be informed of Long Egg. Ah, uh, this is true. <laughs> um, kind of being, 
one of the early like remodels uh contextually this was around 2018 so yes we were <laughs> in the contemporary of the ugandan knuckles and all that so people did make different themed ones and people took little edits and <laughs> We're, we're very grateful that also one of the people that originally poured over the Knuckles avatar was part of our community. So mm. they made sure to go and uh, use the smaller uh, smaller hyenas to give them a giant jaw flap so that they would talk very exaggeratedly. And uh, their personal one has a Knuckles in the mouth, so it's like being controlled by a Knuckles. Oh, no. So it, it's all contextual to like the time period. <laughs> Uh, they actually showed up to the hyena meetup that we had here at Ferality the other day. Yes, we're very honored. <laughs> <laughs> so do we have really? another question yeah. we'd like to take, perhaps from uh, the audience or online? Yeah, absolutely. Anyone from the audience have a question? Oh, oh I think I see one. From I, um... I was thinking this question, and then you actually started mentioning it, um, uh, Shale said, about some of your favorite um, uh, models. Um, so I was going to ask, uh, what are some of the favorite models in your community that you guys maybe stuck out to you that you really enjoyed? Um, like with mm -hmm. my, my brother, uh, our dog recently passed away a couple months ago, and his friend was, because he's recently gotten into VRChat, his friend was so kind of generous to actually take the Shiva model and remake our dog in the Shiva model, which helped my brother a lot with grief and everything, and he loves the and he loves it to death. So what are some of your favorite models that you've loved to see in the community that you guys, that are, like, really memorable to you? Oh, well, to you guys. Yep, I guess the Hawaiian mm -hmm. could start, and then we'd move down again. Yeah. I might have to think on it. It's It's been a bit since, uh, People have done a lot of customs, uh, but oh, I think overall the more popular of the numbers end up actually being a community edit. Like e even when when people started out, we had originally converted from SL models, so they didn't quite have fingers; they had kind of nubs. And as as time progressed, and people started asking uh, uh, our our modeler Darn Hein and the founder uh, was willing to go and oblige. He has a specific style, and some people like it, and some people don't. So by the time he got to the V3, um, the the files got around to a few of my moderators, and they made two different variants of uh, the V3 edits for community edits. And so they different pertain to different things, and we're very grateful to uh, Saifi, who's one of our very good older modelers. He worked a lot with the V3, so numerically wise, the V3 uh, community at by Saifi is the most numerous and the most liked of our group. Oh uh, yeah, for for the best boy, I've seen so many amazing edits that people make. My personal favorite one is the best boy that has like a bunch of beanies that just stacks up into the sky. <laughs> it's just so wonderful. It's just like also my little best was a little like bread best boy. And then there's like the meme of the lower and lower poly best boys, where just someone takes a best boy, just makes it like, like twenty polys, or like the the cube best boy, which is three, four polys. It's just so bon, it's so hilarious. Honestly, I love it. I don't think I can get away without saying that the people who have actually like worked with the base mesh of the Shiva avatar to shape it, create other species, and like different. Uh, and anatomical like body shapes to help people fully represent themselves in VR because the Shibas as a base have uh, you know so much customizability but actually shaping the mesh to uh, you know really individualize and really accentuate those forms I think has really brought it out. Uh, some people out there, uh, Tosca made the species edits like um, the cat Shiba model and the wolf Shiba. Then there is also the Chunky Shiba, which was made by Stray. Um, I'm trying to recall. There are quite so many of them. And I also have to give thanks to uh, Alucard in our community, who would make frequent public updates to everyone out in the Shiba community to have more optimized and updated versions, like for 3.0 support. Um, we really couldn't have as much variations and individualism without you know, the support of the community. So much thanks goes out to those people. And even if I didn't name you, I bet you're out there. <laughs> and you did amazing. <laughs> I, I 
really wouldn't know what a favourite one would be for me, really. I'd change on, a, on an instant, constantly, into different versions of these and other species overall. So it's a bit difficult for me to even pick a favourite. But I'm this uh, 1.4 version 90% of the time. But that's about it, really. <laughs> what about you? I've been, uh, I've been stumped by the just talent of, of everyone making their own custom versions. You know, I've back when well, I've been a furry for 11 and a half years, I remember some artists who made, you know, who are weasel personas from years back that I would follow. And, and look at their art and be like, oh, that's so good. How would I ever be that good? <laughs> and then now they've got long boys and, and they're changing the long boys to be their personas and doing such a good job. And it's like, oh, you know, wow, wow. It's, it's, uh, it the feels really great. The longest long boy. Oh, yes. no. Oh, he turned into it. Oh, no. It's like 100 meters. He made this <laughs> in like five minutes after it went live. <laughs> All right? Oh, my. Oh, my. Like, could you, could you run, move your arms or something? Like... I haven't even loaded for myself yet. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, gosh. oh well, wow. There goes yeah. the oh, wow. <laughs> I'm way above the ceiling. <laughs> I don't even know oh, where no. I am. Yeah, it's... Um... <laughs> Has science gone too far? It looks like a line or something. <laughs> but, um, it is the longest yeah. boy. I think this that is, is actually longest the longest. On the I think it's like 100 meters tall. Um, but um, okay. yeah, it's only been out for a couple months. Uh, <laughs> okay. We're going to enter phase two of the... Oh, my God. Jeez. Well, there you go. <laughs> We're gonna enter phase two of the avatar at some point and start making like accessories. I wanna make like sweaters and clothing and different silly things Space. and at that point I wanna see how, how far it goes. That's a so we, get phase two of the long we get phase two of the long boy. long boy. Mm-hmm. Oh, we were boy. releasing we released <laughs> just recently I think yeah, we just released it today, uh when I announced this event, we released the Best Boy hoodie. Uh, which is now on our Discord on, on Gumroad. Yeah, we're we're yeah. always my, right now. My goal is to at least one or two outfits per month for my best boy, for our best boys. And now I've been bothered to make it a hoodie for my community as well. You'll be <laughs> only matching hoodies. <laughs> <laughs> my lord. But uh, I, I think this is a really good question. What the question is? Um, oh, yes, what's your favorite like, uh, edits of your avatar that you've seen floating around? Yeah. I'm really biased, but I like my own edit where it just shuffles through all of the designs. <laughs> <laughs> Fancy. Yeah. That's but I, I, I've seen I've seen a, a, a bunch of edits people made. I mean, the funniest one I can't even mention because it's really not safe for work. But there was another oh, no. one where it's the the deer version of it. Where uh, oh, every like dude. part of the antler has a little air freshener hanging off of it, so there's just this cluster of hundreds of air fresheners, oh all with God. dynamics just jiggling around. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice, yeah. Remind me not to join you when you have that on. <laughs> I think we may have time for one or two more questions. Oh, is it we've already been two hours? Yes, thank you for the questions. Almost, sure. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's you like guys have made this such soon. a fun experience. It feels like honestly, time is going by. If it's like 15, yeah. 20 minutes, honestly, this is... I think this is a really, really good question to end off on for, for, for like, questions. Each of okay. your communities are incredibly unique and creative. What are your favorite things about each, each, about each other's iconic avatars? I guess Ooh. I could start off with that. Hawaiian. I love the best boy. I mean, uh, I'm best boy. You're your hyena. <laughs> I love the hyena like design and aesthetic, like the little painted, the little painted lines and the, the tribal markings and the clothing you guys have, like all your unique like jumpsuits and outfits and armor. It's, it's really been a major inspiration for me, at least. Uh, Shellfoot, I love the sheep's dynamic expressions, like the way their faces move and like little cheeks jiggle. It's always so wonderful to see. And Dash, you love like all the cool stuff you do with the evolve, with like your armor, your your weapons, all your like beautiful designs and shiny bits and feathers. The feathers are always so cute. They like, little move around. Hi, you. I love like the amount of detail you put into the you put into the long boy. Like the way your your eyes are, your mouth, like your. It just looks always looks so cuddly, like then I can pick up and just snuggle. And spaghetti, I love like the design you did on your uh, your kangaroo, like the way you're it's so adaptable. Like people can take that and do pretty much almost anything with it in substance painter, or just like it's just, it's just so cool to see all the cool edits like people do with them. I guess uh, Hawaiian. No, sorry, I heard it just went off there for a minute. Ah. There you go. You're good. Yeah. <laughs> 
So, so I I'm also say. very, I'm very, <laughs> you're good. <laughs> you were going to say, or no? Or... Oh, I was, uh, mine was going to be pretty short and simple because I'm pretty speechless on uh, everyone's models because they're all unique, unique in their own way. I, l I just adore, like, everything about them. You make the personality of the avatar really show off. Yes. Yes, indeed. So Whitman? Okay. With the <laughs> pattern, for each one, the one of one of the aspects I like most, like for for the hyena, it's the. Isn't he not dying for anyone else? Yeah, I think it's been like that for a minute. No. Oh no! Uh -oh. Come, come back to us. Oh, no. 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 I've... It's like no. Okay. Why not work? I have, I have a question. You died for a bit there. Come on, well, come back to us. I have another question at the end, which everyone's gone through. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yes. I don't know. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, but... Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm done no. again. You need Starlink, bro. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, oh, I'm gonna I go to say Never mind. Mind. <laughs> You go ahead and tell me. <laughs> yeah, you okay, go ahead. I will, apparently, I will, apparently uh, it doesn't matter. You can mail okay. it, mail your answer in and so, writing. So I am, I am very grateful for like actually seeing many of these communities all come up and all started and actually all get come along and it's it's really awesome because like there's so many different varieties of uh, Best Boy and they're all great and I really love like all the different individual things and much as how they were talking earlier about like your avatar list being a bit too long. Well, I think I'm up to like 800 something models and a lot of them are different <laughs> models. Holy uh, uh unfortunately yeah. i haven't made very many edits of uh the shiva i only think i have one single one i had someone else retexture it for me uh i also only have two of ollie <laughs> so i haven't really had much <laughs> variety with them but as, as a pointer when i get a model i really kind of try to have continuity and i have the same uh, second life glasses on almost all my uh, models and so that's initially what i'll put on and be like i like the original color palettes using nice and browns so i'll just kind of stick those on um i really enjoyed the long blade when it finally got officially released because it was just very nice to use the different itinerations as it was being developed <laughs> very nice <laughs> and <laughs> I, I stuck a nice hat on it and so like i'm slightly individual but not that too different and uh, I, immediately, once the kangaroo was finally released, I really look forward to it because I really, really wanted to make a custom kangaroo. And I, I just loved it. I just put a lot of cool accessories on it. But like overall, I'm just always amazed by so much variety. And I'm all, and unfortunately, we, Peter, we're still you, sorting you, things, mic. but like there are other groups and okay. there are other public models and other models that are um, sold on Gumroad. And I try to get uh, at least buy them in sequence, but it's all just kind of bad balancing budgets so i really i really like to customize models mm -hmm. i like the yins because they're unique and stylized around a particular art style i like the best boys because they're such a a really good default base to expand upon with various species and i love some of the edits they made especially the duchy it's really good uh i like the avalis because you don't see many feathered at least in my experience you don't see many feathered avatars here in VR chat and there's something very satisfying about being in VR and flapping those wings. <laughs> I like the long boys because I've always had an affinity for weasels and I think this is a like perfect opportunity. Uh, it reminds me of the ferret avatars that exist but it's also a unique adaptation in that it's more realistic but adapts also cartoonish aspects about it. It's, it's such a combination of both. It's so cute and amazing. And spaghetti I, all I could say is I love the deer. I love it so much. It, there's something about it that's so cute and charming to me personally. I... Ah. <laughs> yeah, uh... I, but once again, I'm so sorry that if we weren't able to get to your question. We had a lot of amazing questions. We only have two hours, unfortunately, for this panel. Maybe we'll do another panel oh, some other time. Uh, maybe outside of reality? Oh, there's so many I wish I could get to you. Again, like last year. Even though we had twice the amount of time, there's just so many amazing things 
that all of you guys have done. Uh, thank you so much for coming. And before we end off and do our, our official sign off, I believe that Shelfoot has a little announcement to make. <laughs> so I'll, t I'll take uh, it over to her. First of all, I want to say thank you all once again as well for submitting your questions here to this panel and being, you know, here present tonight, contributing to Ferality in what way you can with, you know, coming and enjoying the events and donating to Save a Fox. But what I have to say here tonight is uh, I will officially be resigning as a staff member and community manager of the Sheba Squad. This Sheba Squad has been a big part of my journey in joining VR Chat, and it means so very much to me. And there's nothing I want more than this continue this community can to continue and thrive and grow beyond you know my departure. This by no means will mean that I will stop talking to anyone who's a part of it. If anything. I will continue to talk to those that I have met through the Sheba Squad and share my experiences and still forge new happy, fun memories with. But I think it's definitely time to move forward, try to strive and follow my passions and my hobbies. Uh, and I believe that's all I have to say. But before I end this off here, I think Pika Petey wanted to say some words on my behalf if you'd like to come up here and take my place on stage. Oh, I think your mic is muted, by the way. Maybe you're muted. Oh, there you go. Yes, okay. yes. Hello. Yes. Am I, am I here? Okay, Chef, what? You. Yes. You've been... Fuck, this is, this is really hard. All right. I know She's we talked about this, but this is pretty <laughs> hard. Um, uh, <laughs> we... You have been... A Dynamite. There's a reason why Shellfoot is here on stage instead of me because she has been a staple in my community. She's the third. Um, she's like the fourth, fifth Sheba that I, uh, I basically I Sheba member. <laughs> okay. Anyways, anyways, you've been a Sheba squad in the beginning, and and working with you has been a joy. Right, I have nothing but praise to say about you. You have you built up the community, you've organized the community, and there's a reason why she's on here instead of me because she represents the community that I could not um, communicate. I'm I'm not I'm not good at words. All right, Shellfoot, you're you're definitely good at words. Thank you so much. And all I have is to do is praise. Thank you so much for being part of this community. Thank you so much for monitoring this community. I will... The door is always open. And... I mean, the door is always open for you to come back. And I'm... This is a perfect... Exit. So I'm, I'm... I gotta... Uh... Okay, you're good. Thank you, buddy. I'm good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And thank, thank you so much, Chef Foot. You have been you've been absolutely a joy to work with. I have nothing but praise. Any thank you. And, and and I know your future is going to be just full of opportunity because holy baloney, you are an awesome organizer. Thank you. Mhm. Mm Yep. Thank you very, very much, Katie. Mm -hmm. I think that'll be all for our panel today. Yeah. Thank you guys again so, so incredibly much. This has been such an amazing and humbling experience. Yeah. And I, I just have, I don't have enough thanks and enough words to give out to you guys. I, I'm shaking. I'm just so thankful. <laughs> Would mm -hmm. you guys like to get well, recorded and this off? I have a, I have a quick couple of things to say before we end <laughs> off, though. As, uh, as, as, you know, the whole, I got everyone here together. I got this panel started. What I'd like to say to anyone else who has a community out there, uh, reach out to me. The best way to support is down here. Join it. Send me a DM. If anyone is, like, leading a community and wants to be maybe involved with this panel at Next Ferality, or potentially maybe some other kind of event that we might be, maybe hosting, uh, just message me on discord whenever you can and we'll talk about it that'd be really cool to have more people up here to get more perspectives because this bench might look like it's not that big but we can always expand it we can always get more 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 creators and more people on here to talk i think that'd be really special so uh, message me if you're ever interested in that and uh i guess one more thing that before we end off is thank, like i said thank you all for coming to the panel 
uh, myself and everyone else here who's been able to come. Thank you so much for being a part of this. Um, and I look forward to working with all of you guys in the future, you know? It's always wonderful meeting people and being a part of these things. So uh, I guess if we could get everyone to do a group photo, maybe, uh, yeah. yeah, that would be really cool. Yeah. I gotta stand up group now. Photo. My legs hurt. Ah. My legs 